Support for Steppin' Out is made possible by local author Sarada Bonnet. In Notes of Forgiveness, Bonnet shares her childhood story as daughter of famed rockabilly singer Sherry Davis. Notes of Forgiveness, available in bookstores and at saradabonnet.com. Scott Laborde and welcome to Step It Out, spotlighting the New Orleans area's arts and entertainment scene. Seated at our table tonight, Michaela Almanester, better known as the Baroness de Pintalba. Of course, we have her as she is the a real estate developer and uh, quite the historic personage. We're glad you're here with us. Okay. You look beautiful. Thank you very Hello. Much. She's back, Poppy Tooker, host of the <laughs> WWNO radio program, Louisiana Eats. Welcome back. Thanks, Peg. And all the way from Israel, Shira Z. <laughs> Carmel, Israeli singer and artist, here with her group, the Hazelnut Sisters, who will perform later, and they're in town for a Boswell Sister tribute. Welcome, Shira. Thank you. You look great. Thank Hello. You. And Alan Mason, editor of the online Crescent City Jewish News. Hello, Mr. Alan. Hello there. But first up, Poppy, lots of news. Oktoberfest continues, first of all, and this is a different take on Oktoberfest. This is Cajun Oktoberfest at Vashery Cajun Restaurant. <laughs> and of course, well, it is is entirely appropriate because, you know, Jared Zarang, who's the chef there, he grew up in Vashery, the name of the restaurant, that lovely restaurant on Toulouse Street. And that is, of course, part of the German coast of the Mississippi River. So you get a little both of that when you go and have this delicious Oktoberfest meal, which is held over until October 18th. So if you had read that it was ending tomorrow night, you've got another week. Three courses for $29. Oh, that's a deal. It is a deal. Choices like beets and orange salad, alligator sausage, there's that Louisiana touch, with bread and butter pickles, Creole mustard, and sweet hot pecans, red wine braised red cabbage with bacon and green apples, <laughs> roasted pork loin in a sugar cane glaze with Brussels sprouts and mashed potatoes, and frankly, I've never heard of a panne chicken schnitzel before. <laughs> Delicious <laughs> thing to schnitzel with roast potatoes and dessert, of course, included, and a suggested pairing of the Abita Beer Oktoberfest Lager at $4 a bottle. Bargain night, Oktoberfest is on. Then, a really unusual first ever happening that's going to happen next Sunday, October 19th at Emeralds. Emerald is hosting the first ever Mentor Young Chef competition. It's going to be at Emerald's restaurant. At 11 a.m., the VIPs arrive, and at noon, the general admission is only $50. And what you're going to see are four young chefs from South Carolina, North Carolina, Minnesota, and California, all competing for the opportunity to do a very special stage in a prestigious restaurant somewhere in America. This is a value of like $10,000. The judges, superstar chef Danielle Ballou oh. is coming to New Orleans. Mm. Susan Spicer from Bayona will be there, and Chris Hastings of mm. the Hot and Hot Fish Club, a James Beard Award winner. You're going to get a rare behind-the-scenes look at Emerald's Kitchen while the chefs compete. You actually get to go in the kitchen. And then, while the cooking continues, there's going to be a wine seminar held by master sommelier John Blazin, featuring fantastic wines from California, Mount Brave, Anderson Valley's Maggie Hawk, Sonoma County's Wind Racer, and they're going to pass delicious canapes. At 2.30, the award is being given, and this is such a special event. New Orleans is the first place it's being held, but next comes Beverly Hills, Miami, and New York City. So it's great we made the cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, talk about great. Run, run, don't walk <laughs> to Johnny Sanchez. Finally opened. It's Aaron Sanchez, yes, that big hot food network star that everyone swoons over. And John Besh, you know, who's kind of a oh handsome boy, thing. Oh, wild and Look crazy at the, guys. They're brothers huh? now, you know, they, and people are confused. It's, of course, it's John's first name and Aaron's last name, but people have started calling Aaron John, Johnny Sanchez. So the food, it's not like any other food we've ever had in New Orleans. This is the most authentic Mexican food, shrimps 
ceviche tostadas. Oh, Ooh, by the way, hello. oh, you see, that's Aaron Sanchez's tattooed <gasps> back. This Ooh. is where the inspiration comes from for the decor, the mural. Oh, wow. do you see how yeah. oh, that follows through? I was kind of surprised when John said, Aaron, <laughs> take off your shirt and show Poppy those tattoos. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Go to my Facebook page and you can see the front part. Uh -oh. Now, <laughs> there's the shrimp ceviche tostadas, uh -huh. the most incredible thing, oh my goodness, beef cheek sopas with bone marrow and pickled onions, tuna aqua chile. You see, this is, it, that looks like restaurant mm -hmm. August, but it's very reasonably priced, an authentic Mexican, northern Mexican dish. Tacos, two for just $8. Beer battered fried shrimp tacos. It's kind of like a poor boy in a handmade taco. Cabrito, baby goat, grilled squash blossoms, just everything. Mm -hmm. Sweetbreads, incredible, lamb enchiladas. Where is all this? <laughs> it's all it's all on Poitras Street. Uh -huh. There's a full bar oh. with crazy drinks like Happy Cheeks. We're not talking these cheeks. We're talking the other ones. <laughs> What's Bo it near, Poppy? What's it's, it near? It's, right, it's, it's just right in the heart. We're, like, we're almost right across from One Shell Square. It's in the okay. right there in the midst. Oh, so run, don't walk. It's open until 11 o'clock, midnight mm. on the weekends, and it's open at 10 on Saints game days. Ooh, mm. very smart. And you might spot those <laughs> Food Network stars. Okay, all right. Thank you, Poppy. <laughs> and we turn to the Baroness Montalba, and of course, we are today in the year 2014, and we're delighted, though, that thanks to you in the 1850s, one of America's most beautiful apartment buildings was constructed right in Jackson Square. Yes, thank you so much. I'm and very proud. Your, <laughs> your know-how on that. Um, you really were quite ahead of your time. Uh, this is what people say, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you also had some challenging days, too, didn't you? I did indeed, yes. My life was not one which... Um, didn't your father-in-law, like, try <clears throat> to kill you not once, not twice, not three times, but not four times? <gasps> yes, indeed, madam. I do hold shrapnel in my <laughs> chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, um, but we are delighted to have you here as one of our wonderful historic personages and you all will be enjoying a very historic picnic this weekend, won't Absolutely. you? Tell us about that. Yes, I will be hosting a, a picnic, a Victorian picnic. And we'll show your other friends as we're talking too. Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. We all are representatives of a, an organization called Louisiana History Alive. We are here to uh, share a little Louisiana history with you and uh, we are having this picnic at 3405 Royal Street, beautiful Victorian mansion, right on the corner of Royal and Desire. Oh, ooh. Yes. you couldn't write that any better. <laughs> <laughs> and what will you be serving? We, don't we have some show and tell yes, here? Yes, indeed. Believe. We will uh -huh. be offering picnic baskets for a small fee. Mm -hmm. um, we're full of all of this wonderful food here that we uh, we will be offering from Dorlon is the caterer, Ooh. and a cheese, meat, bread, fruit, and for an additional fee, you can purchase a basket with a bottle of wine and these lovely wine glasses and a mint julep glass, which oh will be my. bottomless. Yes, I see the wine oh. glass. We'll have to fill that at some point. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Now, what is in the red box? You have me curious. I brought you all a little gift. Oh, you know, all little right. Petit four, oh. you know, which uh, I... I would like to show wrapped. you. Yes, these uh -huh. are from Bologna. Oh. And each of them, if you uh -huh. would like, comes with oh. a small fortune. Oh, oh. so a petty oh. fortune? Yes, Is that a that? petty fortune. <laughs> would you like one, madam? Certainly. I'll also pass them along oh. here. Thank you so much. Yes. I it's understand my that there are quotations inside from some of your fellow person. Yes, this is this true? <laughs> yes, these will be in the picnic baskets and each of them do have a quote from I, some of our members of our company and other historic personages so that you can have a little um, memory to take with you. Very good. Well, I know that you all are very involved year round in various historic activities and uh, keeping this alive is very important for Louisiana history alive. Absolutely. And uh, how many personages do you have these days? About how many? We will be um, hosting about 12 of us, a near oh. dozen of us. And some come and go, you know how it is with the um, other world. <laughs> <laughs> we I come and go. You have John James Audubon and we Andrew do indeed, Jackson. Indeed. Indeed, and, and um, 
Bienville, of course, oh, will be there yes. as yes. long as um, a very interesting woman by the name of uh, Dr. Elizabeth Cohen. She was a oh. doctor here in the city of New Orleans, and I, um, I hope that people will be able to come and speak with her. Well, very she, good. Yes. And looking forward to this, and hoping many people will attend. And once again, LouisianaHistoryAlive.com. I know you don't know about things such as the internet, so I will remind everyone <laughs> that they can go there and also uh, to the, uh, the Facebook page of this august organization. But thank you so much, Baron. <laughs> And I uh, would like to mention, yes, yes. though I do not have a knowledge of this um, web internet yes. thing, <laughs> <laughs> that um, one must go to this website and uh -huh. purchase the tickets. All right. So good to know. Yes, by midnight tonight, Ooh, if you would like right. to receive a basket. Oh, Ooh. and I think everybody would like to have one of those, yes. too. <laughs> okay. But regardless, go. Go, 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 and, and visit with you all. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. And speaking of visiting, you've come a long way this year. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your group. Uh, well, we are a, a doo-wop trio, a close harmony trio and we're from Jerusalem, Israel and one day about two and a half months ago we got a very exciting email saying hi I'm the granddaughter of Vet Boswell like, wah, wah, wah. and th there's a Boswell fest going on and we'd like you to participate and so we were obviously extremely shocked thanks to the magic of that internet thing that you don't know <laughs> And you have so a brand new CD came. now, too. We yes, to show yes, we do. It's an EP. Too. It's called The Hazelnuts. And, uh, and there's some Boswell um, tunes on that as yes, well? Yes, there's two Boswell tunes, two original tunes, and one Beyonce cover. Oh, really? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh. Well, yes. so this weekend is very busy with the Boswells. Yes. Uh, and uh, we have, I believe, a full screen for more information on yourself right there in The Hazelnuts and also the whole weekend. And you'll also be performing um, this Sunday at the Spotted Cat That's as correct. well. Yes, there's an open mic. For, there's um, actually there are 14 uh, doo-wop groups from all over the world, mm -hmm. mostly American, and there's an open mic so you can get to hear everyone singing, emceed by the Fister Sisters, New Orleans. Wonderful. Uh, now best. I know that Harry Marone is, is uh, kindly accompanying yes. you. Yes. And uh, what are the other names of your group members? It's Talia Amzaleg, Ifat Ziv. And I'm Shira Zika. Okay. And, uh, and what are you going to perform for us tonight? We're, we're going to do Crazy People for Crazy you. People, <laughs> wonderful. Well, we're delighted to hear that. We'll let Thank her you. get up and, and go ahead and visit. But once again, it's great to hear from the Hazelnut Sisters all the way from Israel with Crazy People. Let's take a look. And here's 
there's more information about them once again Sunday at 3 o'clock at the Spotted Cap, uh, Cat, rather, and the historic New Orleans collection has been very much a part of pulling all this together, and there's a great exhibit that's only up for a few more weeks, so check it out. We appreciate the hazelnuts. And we turn to Mr. Allen. Lots of theater, sir. There is, and I'm going to go right to it. Joanna Gleason, for Tony Award winner Joanna Gleason, this uh, coming concert tomorrow evening is going to be very special for a number of reasons. She's going to be performing with a very talented string quartet, Well Strung. But what's very <laughs> interesting about that is that it's her first trip to New Orleans. Oh. And, uh, well, Gleason's been uh, out on Broadway and in Hollywood making movies and TV series, but hasn't had a chance from her busy schedule of teaching and appearing on stage to be able to get here. But she is going to be here. Uh, I had actually got a chance to talk to her via the phone uh, about her experience. She actually wrote this entire cabaret show. She had never been exposed to cabaret until last summer. She appeared with Seth Rudetsky in Provincetown and essentially uh, got the bug and saw Well Strung for the first time and decided she was going to craft a show with them. And they are actually singing and performing as a backup to her. And the songs all have something to do with her life. So it's going to be very interesting. Jeff Klitz is also her music director, and he arranged all of these things. So it's going to be very nice. Again, I want to make mention, she is the daughter, believe it or not, of TV's Monty Hall, the Let's Make a Deal TV personality. Oh, sure. And she actually uh, went from New York to California. And uh, because of all that traveling around, she invented these imaginary lives for herself. So part of the show will be about that. Uh, her true love has always been stage, however. Uh, her win in 1998 for The Baker's Wife in Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine's Into the Woods, of course, will be probably considered her greatest achievement. But she's bringing another achievement she's going to have with her is going to be her husband that some people remember from the Princess Bride, Chris Sarandon. Oh, so uh, he's oh, going to probably make the stage no too, oh, I think. Okay. So, yes. Oh, oh, uh, and I'm look, excited about look that. Look forward too. to some things from Nick and Nora <laughs> uh -huh. and as well as Into the Woods. They're going to be appearing uh, again on stage at Le Petit tomorrow night. Meanwhile, on stage, uh, not too far away on Canal Street, Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Broads, booze, murder, and jail. <laughs> What a happy mix. For those of you who don't know about it, this is the story about Roxy Hart, the film that inspired the Candor and Ebb, and I would dare say their most successful show. It's the longest running revival on Broadway, and it's the longest running American show, and it's about to eclipse Cats, so that's very important. So get to the Sanger Theater, and if you're wondering what you're in store for, well, let's take a look-see at it right now. Absolutely magnificent. The vocals are superb, especially Velma Kelly, Tara McLeod, and Roxy Bianca Marroquin. Uh, you know, this is an homage to Bob Fosse and the great uh, choreography that he had. Uh, those of you who may not know John O'Hurley, uh, he is the guy who is in the Westminster Pet Show every year. He also Mr. was on Peterman, Seinfeld, right? of course. So, so those of you, he was he was a little weak in some of the songs, but I thought he did a great job preening about the stage, as as you would imagine, and he mostly stuck very well to the role. Mm -hmm. Chicago continues until this. Sunday night. To miss it would be Moida. <laughs> Let's move on to uh, the World War II Museum, the Mysterious Wisterias. Yes, indeed, in the tradition of the comedic romps like Irma Vep, the musical comedies like Waiting Around, Ricky Graham and Sean Patterson are presenting their latest production, which is called the Mysterious Wisterias. It's now running at the stage door canteen of the National World War II Museum. The cast reads like a virtual who's who, and this murder mystery is really a lot of fun. It's revealed over the course of the evening. Of course, the inimitable King of New Orleans comedy, Ricky Graham, has ascended the throne from and Crown Baby Prince Blue. to King. He's a key member of the cast. The script is co-written and directed by Sean Patterson. Uh, it's funny, brilliantly timed, and although some of the jokes, of course, haven't seen the light of day since World War II. <laughs> a, a shout out to the cast includes Trina Beck, Tracy Collins, Rich Arnold, Brittany James, Tom Hook, and Matthew Michael. The show continues until the week before Thanksgiving. 
And then opening up in October, uh, later on this month, uh, the October 23rd, the newly renamed Maroney Theater will be Orphans. This is a Lyle Kessler play, which is a drama, and it deals with Silas Cooper uh, of Noka fame, who is going to be appearing as a mobster on the run. Martin Bradford and David Williams play two brothers who are in essence orphans and who kidnap him and uh, mm -hmm. the action takes off from there. It has to do with family values and again connections. Frederick Meade directs and uh, it should be a very emotional play which uh, examines family and, and how everyone affects one another. Looking forward to that as well. And also following on the heels arms, legs, and brains of Evil Dead the musical is the Christopher Bentivnia uh, musical that's called Musical of the Living Dead. That's uh, Bentivnia. I'm trying to get that name right, okay? <laughs> Word of warning, those of you who have not seen uh, Evil Dead the musical, there's going to be lots of stage blood. Bring protective rain gear and think of it as a Gallagher show for Halloween on drugs. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. And now it's time for our artist spotlight and tonight we've got the first is a photograph of Fats Domino by Joshua Mann Paylet. New Orleans native Paylet is well known for his iconic photographs. He founded a gallery for fine photography on Charter Street 40 years ago. The second is three bras that may be seen in this Ooh. photograph. The one on the left is Roxy by Roxy Rudolph. The one on the right is Shaggy but Sweet by Emily Sweetlick. And the one in the center is Divine Warrior by both artists. All of these pieces of art will be auctioned off at the New Orleans chapter of Hadassah's second annual Bravo. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Proceeds will benefit cancer research by the Hadassah Medical Organization in Israel. It takes place Saturday evening, October 25th at the Lakefront Airport. To purchase tickets, visit bravo2014.eventbrite.com. And you can visit wyes.org to see our online calendar and to see our lineup of events, including City Park jumping this weekend with the Seafood Festival and the Garden Show and the New Orleans Family Justice Center's Unmasking Domestic Violence. It's a soiree mm -hmm. to help that. Next Friday evening, you can go to WYS.org to see more information about that and our program online, too. New Orleans Magazine's quiz queen, Julia Street, has a question for us. Last time, Jonathan Ambrose gave us the name of the 1995 hurricane that made landfall along the Gulf Coast on October 4th, beginning with the letter O and the Gulf Coast town to which it landed closest, Opal and Pensacola. Now tonight's question. This lagoon, which runs alongside City Park's casino building, was once part of which bayou? And which historic oak stands nearby? Email your answers to steppinout at wyes.org. Our prize is a Louisiana Life magazine subscription. A gift certificate for two, courtesy of Vianne's Tea Parlor. That's uh, their culinary and gourmet tea experience, and that's an old Mandeville. Tonight we have an apron as worn by WYS <laughs> staffer Kelsey Schreiber. Let the message go figure from our friends at wearablevegetables.com. And now our picks. Shira, yes. once again, where can we find you? Website. Um, either the hazelnuts.com or hazelnuts.bandcamp.com. Our CD is accessible. And what there. are we going to hear? You're going to be um, going over and finishing up for us, is it? Uh, we're going to hear It's the Girl. Okay, great. We'll let you go do that. Alan. Thank you. I uh, just want to remind everybody, my pick has got to be hometown hero and Metropolitan Opera star Brian Hamel, who will be Don Jose in Bizet's uh, big Carmen production that's going to be on this Sunday. Okay, great. And Michaela. Yes, and the picnic will be at 3405 Royal Street oh. this Sunday from 3 o'clock till 7 o'clock. There will be tickets available at the door for okay. $20. And then if you would like the picnic baskets, you must go uh, by Order midnight early. tonight. <laughs> okay, there is a deadline. <laughs> Tomorrow night, there's still tickets available. $45 for the Crescent City Farmer's Market, Moonlight Market, their big annual fundraiser. Okay, great. And my picks, Jeanette Downing, celebrating... A uh, brand new book, the launch of her new children's book, so cute, Macarooned on a Desert Island. That's tomorrow from 11.30 to 1 with a signing at Maple Street Bookshop. Congratulations to her. And here's Recovery Wood of Louisiana and a photograph of Sun Pie Barnes representing the folk art and music that will be available at the Algiers Folk Art Festival in Algiers Point this weekend. You can visit their Facebook page for more information. And here is the Battle of New Orleans by Louisiana militia engineer and architect Jean Hyatt 
Hyacinth de la Clote. The second is Liberty Guards by Joe Erdman. You can help raise money for Louisiana Living History's Battlefield reenactment development at a call to arms, their fall gala, next Saturday evening. More may be found at, lo at lawlivinghistory.org slash events. And now we leave you with the Hazelnuts performing It's the Girl by the Boswell Sisters, accompanied once again by thank you, Harry Marone. Thank you all very much for watching. Good night. One, two, one, two, three. It is on the paddle, it's not the canoe. It is on the river, our skies that are blue. It is on the love nest that brings joy to you. It's a girl, oh, it's a girl. Always wonder too, it is the mountains, flowers, on the morning dew. It isn't the love nest that brings joy to you. It's a girl that makes you happy and it's a girl that makes you blue. You often doubt them. What a lonely world would be without them. It isn't the songbirds, the song that they sing. It isn't the sunshine that makes you love spring. So what is this magic that makes love a thing? It's a girl, oh, it's a girl. Some folks need atmosphere when they're making love. They say, oh, Mother Nature makes love grand. Still lovers will complain that they need the show. If you're a Romeo, you understand. It is on the pedal, it's not the canoe. It is on the river, a sky. you wander to it is on the mountains the flowers on the morning dew it is in the love nest that brings joy to you it's the girl it's the girl it's not the places you go You know, oh, listen while I shout out loud. It's a girl. Support for Steppin' Out is made possible by local author Serata Bonnet. In Notes of Forgiveness, Bonnet shares her childhood story as daughter of famed rockabilly singer Sherry Davis. Notes of Forgiveness, available in bookstores and at serratabonnet.com.